going to mount now the upper model, and I've recruited Dr. Jorge to help me with this, and so he's going to set up the articulator first for the, uh, to prepare to mount the upper model. And the first thing he's going to do is set the analogs at 45 degrees on both sides. Use, use the, uh, the wrench and tight, loosen them. Use the wrench and loosen, loosen both, both, both of them. You have, to re you have to release both of the Allen head screws in order to set the uh, analogs and then retighten those uh, screws in order to hold the analogs in place. And as I said earlier, uh, they, we put the analogs at 45 in order to, to create a situation so that when we mount the lower model, it tends to hold the condyles in centric. We want to make sure the centric lock is in place, which centers the top of the articulator over the lower, and then the centric latch is in place that holds the top of the articulator against the condyle balls. We want to set the incisal guide pin at, uh, so you just barely see the green mark, which means that the upper member of the articulator now will be parallel with the lower member of the articulator. And the next thing we have to do is change the incisal guide table and put in the mounting table. Be sure and slide the mounting table all the way back until it makes contact with the bottom of the, uh, the bottom frame of the articulator. And now, now we'll put in put it in both the upper and the lower mounting plates. You want to tighten those very very good on on the articulator. Make sure they're seated properly, and they, and it's tight. Okay. Now then, we want to check our models. We've already checked to make sure there are no bubbles, and it's nice and clean. And we have to we have to uh, put some retention in the base of the upper and lower model. And. Also in the lower, you want to cut grooves in the lower also. Upper model, the base of the upper model in some water and let it be soaking up some water so that when he adds a plaster to it, uh, you'll have a good firm union. If your model was dry, it would take too much of the water out of the mounting plaster and you'd have a weak union. So you want to base your models wet when you mount uh, uh, your, uh, your models. Just put it in there and let it soak. Okay, he has to prepare his bite fork. And we want to take off the, the Beauty Pink Extra Hard off of the uh, lower and just break off the edges of it a little bit. Turn it so it sees it. Turn it t toward the camera. Head away. Okay, and now then he'll put the... Uh, put the bite fork assembly onto the articulator. Be sure and put the flat side toward the screw in the front. Notice how when he, when he did the final tightening how it centered the bite fork. Okay. Now the next thing is that you want to support the bite fork. You don't want to put a model on. The weight of the model will d tend to dis dislodge the bite fork. And so you want to uh, support it. So we're going to mix up some qu quick set stone and put a couple of little dabs here and slip it underneath like this and let it set. That will support the bite fork. He can take his uh, blue wax bites now and put on the model to make sure they're fitting the model good. Now what's critical here, and make sure the blue wax is not touching soft tissue anywhere. If there's any doubt in your mind, as you look here, you trim away the blue wax so that it's very clearly clearing 
the soft tissue. So I would trim a little bit off of the lingo here and here to make sure that it's clear. And now you put the upper bite on and do the same thing. Look from the lingo, make sure it's not touching the soft tissue anywhere. There's no problem from the lower, but we should check to make sure it fits on the lower good. Our models fit good into our wax bites, so we can proceed now. Once the, once the support stone on the uh, upper bite fork is set, we can proceed to mount our upper model. Make sure it's seated in good. Feel it carefully and make sure it's seated good. And now uh, we close the top of the articulator and see how much mounting stone we need. Now work it in. We work it when we add to that mounting plate. We work it in to make sure we get it into the undercuts on the mounting plate, so we have good retention. And we'll add just a little bit more, and and then just close it down. You just want it to to attach the model with a little bit of mounting stone because later we'll fill it all in and make it nice and smooth and pretty. So for now, this is all we're going to do is just, uh, so quite frequently what I do to open, to open it is that once I know my mounting stone is hard, I actually loosen the, the model and open the articulator and now I can lift the model out. And that way I know I'm not going to break off any teeth. And now once we have our upper model off for the moment, we can take off our bite fork and everything. And the next thing, we're going to get ready to mount our lower model. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set our incisal guide pin at plus three. Uh, that means that we're going to put the red mark on the incisal guide pin flush with the top of the articulator. We've now opened the vertical dimension in the anterior segment three millimeters. So we've made the top of the articulator slightly up like this in relationship to the lower. The basic purpose in doing that is that you're trying to allow for the thickness of the bite, the power-centric bite, when we mount our lower model. We mount the lower model, we take the wax bite out between the teeth, we close the articulator, and we want the upper and lower members to be relatively parallel again. And that's why we increase the vertical dimension in the anterior segment. So we're, now we're going to get ready to mount the lower model. We'll put the upper model back on. <coughs> And we'll put the articulator into the mounting stand. And your, the top of the articulator will fit over the plate of the mounting stand. Elongate the, the posterior pin to stabilize the articulator. And now we'll determine the final length of the anterior pin when we put our wax bites on and our lower model. Because we want the base of the lower model to be parallel to the um, floor. Make sure your wax bites fit good. And now we'll put our lower model on. Make sure it's seated good, and so you kind of take it and put a little pressure on it, right, right over the top of it, and it's not quite parallel. Now 
Okay, now we, we have to make a judgment decision here as to whether we parallel it or we support the lower member like this. One of the two. So we parallel it just because we're going to put mounting stone on here and if it's not parallel, the mounting stone must tend to fall off. So we want it parallel so the mounting stone will stay on the articulate, on the model good. Now we have to close the lower member to see how much mounting stone, and we're going to need a lot of mounting stone. And we knew that when we saw the small amount we needed on the upper. <laughs> and uh, go ahead and open it up all the way. Open it up all the way. Two mixes to make this uh, get this mounted correctly. some to your lower, add it to your lower, the uh, mm -hmm. mounting plate. Okay, that's good. You're going you're gonna to have to catch some of it now. When you close it, it's going to come forward on you. Okay, perfect. You did good. <laughs> 